everyone, it's Heather and I'm here with a fun video today. It's going to be super sped up just because this video was super long. Um, this is just um, showing you how I made some DIY embellishments. Um, at the end there will be a picture of all of the ones that I made so you will be able to see them a little bit better. Um, this is the second time I'm doing the voiceover. I did the voiceover and it was sped up. 250 and it was just dragging on the video was 14 minutes long and it was taking forever so I sped it up to 300 or 400 now and so it goes by a little fast um so I do apologize if you guys want it to be slowed down a little bit just let me know in the comments and I will do another video um, with some more because I still have tons of scraps left over. So uh, what I'm doing is just, as the title says, making my own embellishments. Um, so what I do, I made a video probably around Christmas time last year and showed you guys some of the embellishments that I made, but this is the actual process that I kind of go through. Um, I go in my stash and my scraps and grab out papers that look like I would want to use them again and um, just use my punches and my die cutting machine and um, cut out different shapes. So mostly what I do or what I did this time was different size circles, circle scallops, butterflies, and hearts. And I believe that that's the only shapes that I use this time. Um, I also use pop dots. Um, a hot glue gun, um, a stapler, an ATG for some things, and then I use different kinds of paper. So I use cardstock, vellum, um, die cuts, as well as stickers, and um, what else did I use? Let me think. I think that is the gist of it. I think that's pretty much what I use. And um, just layer things on top of each other. So if you have two different size circles, you can layer one behind another one and then put, you know, different embellishments on them like butterflies or um, stickers that say things, the little tiny word phrase stickers. <laughs> and um, it's a lot of fun, you guys. I really do have a lot of fun doing these. Um, it's a great way to save money and also a great way to use your paper up. Um, I still have like a ton of little uh, punch outs that I did left just because I didn't want the video to be super long. But I will put those aside and hold on to them. So when I start running out of the ones that I made, then I can make some more. Um, you can see that, like I said, you just layer on top of each other what you think looks good. So, um, I did, I did do a couple banners as well and you can see a couple little bows that I made, but that was with, um, a die that I have. So, um, if you just layer and then you can staple together some things for different like textures and um, the vellum gives a little bit of a different look because you can kind of see through it. And it's just fun playing around, you know, taking what you have in your stash and just putting them together and making things. That is what it's all about, right? I mean, us as scrapbookers or card makers or paper crafters um, like to make things. And so this is a great way to make things for your pages that are original. You're not going to see um, this anywhere else. Nobody else's is going to look exactly like mine. And mine's not going to look like anybody else's. Um, you know, different colors, different stickers, different whatever it may be. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So if you guys make your own embellishments, I would love to see pictures of them. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments. And um, like I said, this is just a really fun way to use up your scraps. Um, 
I do go through my stamps and the last video that I made for do-it-yourself embellishments I did use several stamps and it was a lot of fun but this time um, I pulled out some stamps but I just wasn't really interested in using them at this time um, I did recently just watch a video um, from Serena B and she's on YouTube and her little do-it-yourself embellishments that she made, she made with cupcake um, liners and toothpicks and different like die cuts and things. And they were so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. Um, if I had some cupcake liners laying around, I would have definitely made some. Um, but you guys have to definitely go check out her video because it they're super cute and they're just like, they look like they came from a store. Like so adorable. Um so, um, next time I'm in Michael's, I'm definitely gonna look to see if I can find some little mini cupcake liners like she used, um, and definitely try my hand at making some, and I might do a video on them. She definitely inspired me to try something different, because that is something that I've never tried, so, um, maybe next month I will try to do a video on those like she did not exactly like hers but um try it my best <laughs> um so you can use circles and banners here you can see um and like I said just layering and you guys can definitely go online a lot of these little circles that you see that have like little sayings on them or little pictures um they were free printables and then I just punch them out. Um, so you guys can go on Pinterest or Google if you don't have a Pinterest account um, and just type in free printables and you'll be amazed at what comes up. There are some really, really cute things that you, if you have a printer, you can just print them off and then if you don't have punches, you can just cut them out. Or if you have punches like I do, then you can punch them out into different, um, I think I use the scallop punch to punch them out. So it really is um, pretty easy to do even if you have limited supplies. So, you know, if you just have a printer and you have some um, scrap paper, then, you know, you can make embellishments out of that. Or if you just have stickers and paper, you can make embellishments out of those. You don't have to have everything, you know, that I have or everything that somebody else has that does a video on this. You can make it yours, and that's the fun of it. Um, you can play around with what you have and not have to go out and spend more money on things. Um, as I've mentioned in a video previously um, I am on a spending freeze so we are trying to save money to do things to our house and so this is a great great way to not spend money <laughs> um, so these embellishments are fun and um, they're going to bring a little extra pop to my pages um, without spending more money so I feel like I'm talking in circles because this video seems a little long um, I do apologize again, and at the end of the video, there are going to be, or there is going to be a picture at the end showing you guys all the little ones that I made, um, just like a close-up of them so you can see, and um, I definitely would love to see if you guys come up with anything, and um, I think it would be super duper fun to see. So here I am getting all of the ones that I just made. I made a lot for my Minnie Mouse or my Disney World album. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.